This is Tier 8 Premium Pan-Asian Destroyer, Fenyang. If she looks familiar, it's because she started life as Japanese Akizuki-class destroyer Yoizuki and was transferred to China in 1947, staying in service until 1963. In-game, Fenyang is available as part of the Lunar New Year celebrations during Update 010. While Fenyang is based on Akazuki, Akazuki fans should pay careful attention to the differences between the two ships before racing out to get her Chinese cousin. The two ships are superficially similar, but there are several distinct differences which alter the character, playstyle and performance of Fenyang compared to Akazuki. First of all, the main difference, the main battery. Fenyang has the same guns as Akizuki with the same accuracy, but that's about where the similarities end. Fenyang has a slower reload at 5.2 seconds base compared to Aki's 3.0 seconds. Fenyang's raw HE DPM is 138k compared to Aki's 192k, and that's including Fenyang's 300 hit point higher shell alpha of 1500. Being Pan Asian, Fenyang does not get special HE penetration for 100mm guns which Akizuki has, so her base HE pen is only 17mm, not Aki's 30mm, meaning Fenyang can't even pen same or higher tier 19mm destroyer armor with its HE. Tier 6 and 7 is fine, as those destroyers have 16mm plating, but you'll get shatters if you try on anything higher. Fenyang does have higher base fire chance on her HE at 8% compared to 5% on Aki, but her nearly half as slow reload means her overall fire chance per minute is actually lower than Akizuki's. While the story with the HE shells is pretty bad, with the AP it gets far more interesting. Fenyang again has higher AP shell alpha at 1900, 200 higher than Akizuki's, and while her raw DPM is 175k compared to Aki's 272k, she benefits from improved bounce angles of 22.5 and 30 degrees like British destroyers Jutland and Daring, meaning she can penetrate plating at much shallower angles than Aki can. To put it another way, Fenyang's AP DPM is about the same as Lightning, but with improved bounce angles which Lightning lacks. At 10 kilometers, Fenyang can penetrate about 41 millimeters of armor, the same as Akizuki, but the improved angles mean that bow in 32 millimeter battleship bows are going to be good targets far more often than in standard destroyers. Lightning here, shown in identical position against Fenyang, shooting the 32 millimeter bow of a heavily angled battleship within the auto bounce wedge for lightning, but somewhere around the border of guaranteed penetration for Fen Yang, it was probably the front turrets getting uh, occasional bounces. My experience of the guns on Fen Yang is that you probably want to stick to AP most of the time, only switching to HE to set fires before or after setting floods, or for targets which are completely nose or stern towards you where you're very likely to bounce most of your AP. What about Fen Yang's other features? Her torpedoes are the same ultra deep water style ones found on a Sashio, only able to hit battleships and carriers with the same 20k alpha and 67 knot speed, although with 12km range. She has a single quad launcher, but gets a reload booster like Akizuki. The inability to hit cruisers, combined with Fenyang's quirky guns, means you probably want to position yourself considerably differently from where you might play Akizuki, trying to get into torpedo range of pushing or camping battleships, or even rushing an overextended carrier. Fenyang also gets a smokescreen and a speed boost like Akizuki, but the smoke is Pan-Asian style, two more uses but shorter duration, more useful as a self-defense tool than a sit and spam tool, which actually pairs nicely with Fenyang's gunnery. One other quirk of Fenyang is that it has defensive AA and a longer range inner AA circle than Akizuki, meaning it is more than capable of fending off a tier 6 carrier and discouraging a tier 8 one or providing AA support to friendlies. Fenyang is much like Akizuki in all other respects, although she has 700 less health and a 1.1 second faster rudder shift. While she might turn a little more quickly than Akizuki, she's still quite slow in a straight line, so be careful you don't get trapped by faster ships. Overall then, this ship is 
somewhat of a surprise to me. On paper, she looks like total garbage, and I went into this review expecting to be criticizing her heavily, especially in comparison to Akizuki. However, the three matches I played to collect footage for this review suggest that comparing her against Akizuki is simply not a fair comparison. Her strange guns and special torpedoes, combined with her strong AA and short smokes, make Fenyang an entirely different beast. Fairer comparison might be to Lightning or Xianyang, and my conclusion is that if you play the ship to its own strengths and don't try to play it like Akizuki, it's actually quite a decent ship. I'd describe her as a battleship hunter, able to deal well with other destroyers as long as you remember to stick to AP for tier 8 targets and up, and able to operate effectively in carrier matches, but in need of avoiding cruisers due to her lack of torpedo threat against them. Regular players with poor or average destroyer skills are likely to find Fenyang lacking in comparison to tech tree ships like Akizuki, Xianyang, and Lightning. However, Fenyang is a very interesting ship which should appeal to collectors and skillful destroyer connoisseurs looking for something a little different. I hope you found this review of Fenyang useful. I've been Statsbloke. You can find me regularly at twitch.tv slash statsbloke. Thanks for watching. Take care of each other and I'll speak to you soon. Note that this review was recorded prior to the Captain Skill rework going live, and although Test Ship is shown in port, the configuration shown is the final version of this ship.